Further to that Melbourne story, now it could be in for a free ride in the CBD if you live there, part of the sweeping changes to public transport fares proposed by the Victorian Government in the run-up to the state elections. We're now joined, I can happy, I'm happy to report this morning, by Premier Dennis Napthine. Premier, good morning to you. Good morning. This is great news for Melbourne and Victoria. Revolutionary improvements to our public transport services here in Melbourne. I didn't even ask you a question. That's exactly what I was going to say. When does it all start? <laughs> It starts on 1st of January 2015 and what it will mean is free tram travel within the Melbourne CBD and Docklands. This is fantastic for Melburnians, whether they come in for shopping or as visitors, but also for people from regional and rural Victoria, interstate and overseas. Free tram travel in and around the Melbourne CBD and Docklands is just for Melbourne and makes the most livable city in the world even better. No, I reckon it's a great idea. I guess you've got to fund all of these things if you're going to make it free. How are you going to fund it? Where are you going to find the money? Well, we're going to find that in our budget through good economic management. We're also making changes so those people who live in and outer suburbs in what our, our zone two of our transport services, they will now only pay zone one fares mm. when they cross between zone two and zone one. A 40% saving for families which will put money back into family budgets. This is a real cost of living savings mm. for commuters particularly from the middle and outer suburbs of Melbourne. Are you able to zero in for us this morning? I know the budget is coming up on where you'll find those savings or you take from one hand and give to the other that kind of thing. Where are you going to find those savings? No. What we'll see is that we'll see people in Melbourne and Victoria benefit from these public transport cha changes. Free public transport in the CBD, free trams in the CBD, and certainly Zone 2 and Zone 1 paying one Zone 1 fare, which will be a massive saving for families, particularly those in the middle and outer suburbs. This will be delivered through good economic management that we are famous for here in Victoria under a coalition this government. Is a, this is a great idea. It's such a great idea. I wonder why you didn't do it when you first came to office, eh? <laughs> well, we've only been in for three years. We had 11 years under the previous Labor government. We had to fix their problems and then we can implement these sort of changes. This is about giving a dividend back to the people of Melbourne and Victoria because of the great investments we've made in new trains, new trams, yeah. new V-line carriages, investing in improving our public transport services. More services, carrying more people more often and now much more affordable. Well, it sounds like you're in election mode, but uh, hats off to a good idea where I see one, and I reckon it's a good idea. Thanks, Premier, for your time today. Thank you very much. Good on you. Thanks.